Also topping the tent tonight, a teenage girl trying to get to school, but instead gets a trip to Le Bonheur Children's Hospital. We got our hands on surveillance video showing the horrifying moments the school bus runs over the student as she's trying to get the bus to stop and let her on. Hello, I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. WREG's Ashley Paul spoke with the girl's mother who says the driver needs to be held accountable. We want to warn you, the video may be disturbing to some viewers. When I look at that, he could have ran over my baby's head. He could have crushed her rib cage, anything. The video is horrible and disturbing to watch, showing the moments 15-year-old Kennedy Jones runs to catch the school bus early one morning last November, but instead ends up underneath it. Her mother, Rhonda Horton, says a neighbor ran to the door to let Horton know what happened. Honestly, I thought my daughter was dead. I really did. I thought she was dead and I was so afraid. Thankfully, Jones was alive, but her leg was crushed. She was rushed to Labonner Children's Hospital where she stayed for two weeks and underwent five surgeries. Jones says she was banging on the door of the bus when the incident happened, trying to get the driver to stop. The kids that came here after the incident, they were telling me the same thing. They said she was at the door. She was banging on the door, and we kept telling him to stop that, you know, someone's trying to get on. But according to the Dyersburg Police Department, Jones slipped under the bus, and the driver was cleared of any wrongdoing. Horton tells us the man is still driving school buses today. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe that he would still be driving these kids around after something like that happened. I mean, from what I saw on the video, it was negligence and recklessness. But investigators came to a different conclusion, so we called the driver to get his side of the story. He answered the phone but hung up when he realized who was calling. So tonight, while Horton is thrilled that her daughter is okay, she's still preparing to file a lawsuit. I just thank God that she is okay. I know the, it could have been a lot worse. For your news leader, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. Disturbing there, and we reached out to Dyersburg High School Administration, the Transportation Department, and the Dyersburg Police Department, and we are still waiting for a response from them. 